Hello my good friends, welcome back to the channel, always with Yunus Shafiri. In this video, you are going to see a new feature from the Room database, or sorry, for the SQLite database, which is called FTS, or Full Text Search. It's a way to match patterns and in queries instead of doing the like pattern matching in the normal queries. This technique allows us to find a lot of data in short amount of time with its index capability. So let's get started. So here in this example, I'm using a book example. So let me just demonstrate the app. So here we do have a class called book, right? So the book is simply a book item which, uh, which have many of the things, which have an ID, title, author, genre, publication year, and description. Now we want to search the book. For example, in this example, we are going to search by description. Okay, for example, I'm searching for a novel. I can type here a novel and then it will search in the descriptions and the numbers. Okay, how it is doing that? We do have here a book DO, which is simply the following. Select everything from books where the book description like the query. Okay, we are using this inside this one, inside a view model. This view model contain the following sub. View model contain search for method in which you provide the search query. We need to put it inside this percent signs in order to do the matching. It's like that. And then whenever we set something, it will find the things here. Okay. For example, let me search for example, the Lord and hopefully we will get the Lord. Sorry, but the Lord exactly as you can see here is a lot. That's basically it. Now this may work, but for bigger databases and a lot of text to search for, this will become a little bit slow. So we need to implement a new technique called FTS or full text search. We do have by default, like in SQLite, this, there is two versions of that, FTS3 and FTS4. We are going to use the latest version, but always check if your database support that. This small documentation of the annotation are going to use FTS4, for example. And here is the, like the main, the normal documentation, you should find it here. In this one, in the SQLite, they will describe what is happening under the hood. We are creating virtual tables, stuff like that. Okay, for example, previously we used the select all from with this thing right with this percent. Now we are going to use the match and we use normally the asterisks. We are going to show that in a minute, but there is, here is the guide and how we can check the potential flexibility you can have with this technology. So let's start implementing that. So as I said, we do have a book uh, entity, right? We need to create another entity that is required for FTS. Okay. Let's call it book FTS, for example, data class like that. And then we should annotate it with two annotations. The main one, which is entity, for example, and here you can call the table name, I don't know, whatever you want, books, FTS, like that, since we have here book, and we need to call it also with FTS power. Now here we need to provide, there are multiple parameters, we need to provide the content entity, okay? Here it is, uh, in our case, it is which one? It is exactly the book uh, entity. Awesome. Now we need to provide some field. Now here, bear in mind that the field you want to store here is only the field that are indexable in which you are going to do the search. Basically in this example, I'm going to use only the description. So it makes sense to copy here only the description. That's basically it. But also require primary key. We're going to use that here. Okay. You need to replace it to an end and we need to explicitly name it the following. Uh, column name info and here the name. It needs to be row ID with exactly this name. Okay, that's how it should be implemented. That's basically the required setup for this FTS row. Now we need to put that into also the database, right? We do have the book database here. So we need to do the following, book FTS like that. And we need to increment this one to two. And here we go. If we run the application right now, we will see another table. But to bear in mind, there is simple or one Big problem. Exactly. We do have problem right now. It's always for databases. Let me just do ADB and install, right? That's the first thing. And let me rerun the application one more time. This is the first run of the application. It will be populated. The data will be populated. I'm pre-populating the database here in the database module. Here, what I'm getting, what I'm trying to do is that I'm adding a callback. I'm creating the database after the creation of the database and adding this book list. Here is the book list. It's just done data to work with. Okay, so in the first time, you won't see anything. If you run the application and then it will be populated with the data for the second run, this is the second run, of course. If you check here for the app inspection, you will see interesting stuff. So here is our book table, our books table, here is all the books we have. And here is the book FTS uh, table in which it contains, for example, these things. 
and of course it contains the description only the description and it needs also these tables in order to do its matching capabilities and indexing problem of course we do have this room master table with every database that's basically it. now whenever we want to do the uh, the matching or the searching we need to do it on this book fts so we need to change the book dao right now like if you do the search right now and search for the hobby for example search for anything for example fantasy for example you are searching with the normal this description of this book now we need to change this into the book fts now this book fts doesn't contain any description so it contains let me just do that fts and search for description but we don't use the like we use the match and instead of putting it like here from where we are calling that instead of using this one we use the asterisks like that that's mainly how we do it but the problem right now is that this book FTS, it doesn't return a book, it returns book of, of FTS, okay? If you are this, you will have a problem since right now this will produce an error here, so we need to find a solution. The idea is simply to do joining. How we can do that? It's like the following. If you want to create, let me just do a way in order to create a multi-line query. We use this type of three codes, so we can create multi-line query. Now, we want to select everything from the normal books we have, but guess what? We are going to join, an extra join here. We are going to join the book FTS on the following sub, but we are going to join book FTS dot description, of course, equal our book, our normal book, or you can use directly description. This description represents this one, as you can see. Okay, we are matching all this one. Or since we are using the same ID, now the problem is that this one is using its own internal ID. We can join maybe on the title or different things, but we have to put the title also here. But it doesn't matter here, we are using the description. It will work, it will work fine. Then we need to do the where, of course, the description of the FTS the table equal to the query. That's exactly how it would work. And then it will simply return us what? It will return us a book. We need to add this books here in order to do the equality stuff. Then now it should work. We shouldn't have any compilation error. Let's wait for it. And boom, it is working. Nice. Now we can do the search. We are going to do the search. We search for Harry Potter, for example. Uh, sorry, let's search for a novel. Problem is that when the research, when the search is empty, like when the query is empty, it will return nothing. So we need to put here in the view model some kind of check if the query, if the search query is, for example, is blank, right? We are going to push everything. Okay. Otherwise. Yeah, let me do it like that. We need to do the F here and then put this one here. And then we need to do the following here to get everything. Let me search all books. Now it should work. Let's say if you don't have any uh, match, it will return us everything. Here, if I try to search for the, let's search for the first book first, exactly it's searching. If I remove everything, it will get me everything. Okay, this is how you can do the thing. Now, there is many stuff related to this FTS. It's not just about finding some text here. You can do some set operations in which you can filter out many of the things. So, for example, here, if you search for the, what we call it, uh, let's search for it, it's set operation. For the set operations, here, here are what you can do. You can use the operator of the not, the and, and the are. Okay? These are the set operations, right? So, for example, you can select like that it contains the SQLite or the database. So this, this will query the set of document that contains either this one or this one. Like this is powerful, okay? Just by using the R. You can use also the not. Like I need the database and not the SQLite, for example. So it will return only one document, like this is the demonstration they are using. So you can provide, but here you, can, you need to escape things for the database in order to understand that you are escaping. Because here is an example. If I try to search, for example, with minus uh, 1009, it will crash. Guess why? If you search here for the problem, you will see that we couldn't match for the query. From book or description, match. The problem is that this one is malformed expression, as you can see, because this minus represents the not. Okay, so we need to escape this special letters that will do the set operation. So you need to be aware of that. This is one of the greatest features you can use with the with this one with FTS. So we are not going to do that because here you need to prepare the query in order to push it. So you need to be aware of that on how to do that. There is one critical thing also about that. The problem is that the FTS right now, by default, whenever you add something to the database, it updates itself. 
but sometimes for the first time if you do this pre-populate stuff it won't work sometimes because it doesn't contain anything in order to do that you need to trigger the rebuilding of the index table or the virtual table for the fts in order to do that you need just to insert something into the database so you need to do database execute query like the following and then you need to insert things into what we call our database or our table you need to insert into the book fts which is it one you won't get any help okay this is a raw query you need to execute here so it's the books fts you want to insert into that field there is only one field in that which is this one you want to insert for this field and the values you are going to insert values is something called rebuild this is act as a trigger whenever you insert this into the database okay it will trigger a rebuild of the index virtual table here you need to call it rebuild okay be aware of this thing also about the FTS. This is only for the first time. As you said, this book FTS, this is a hidden, this is a hidden column. You won't see it. Okay. This is a hidden column. And whenever you push like kind of commands to this one, it will trigger some stuff. For example, this will build the index for the FTS. You don't have to do that as room will do that automatically whenever you insert things from normal DO. But for the first time, we need to do that because we are pre-populating our database. Usually this one would work. Usually this one would work, but let's say you are executing things from, I don't know, from create database like this one. Sometimes we create database using assets or input stream or files. Sometimes it won't work. Even for this one, sometimes it doesn't work. So you need to be aware of this command. There are multiple commands, not only the rebuild, but this one is to regenerate the FTS index. That's basically it on the FTS. There are many other stuff. For example, there are a way in order to like for example when you get back the results sometimes some results will match the query more than others for example it contains more words of the same query so you can do some kind of matching info you can get also here it's called match info match info okay exactly here is the match info thing so this one will give you some information about matches so you can rank your results based on some certain conditions so you need to deep dive into that i didn't experience that before but i know that this feature is there if i have some specific needs that require me to do that i will of course learn about match info usually it's a blob thing i think it's a blob you need to also to put it here as a result and then it will give you that field from that field you can do whatever you want you can rank the results based on that and there are also many features just read the documentation the documentation is full of information and insights about the features of course and also about some hidden commands and also about the technology it's using there the trees and the, all the other stuff the tokenizers we didn't learn about everything this is just to see at the surface level of what is that feature and then if you need some specific needs for this thing you need to implement just learn about it and implement it of course that's basically it for this video thanks a lot for watching this video to the end don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always and see you in the next videos Salam alaikum.